Hi everyone, this is Jimmy Young in the Office of Instructional Technology. I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to use the Zimbra briefcase to check out a document. Uh, Zimbra has a feature in it that's like a mini document management system. You can uh, put documents in there and kind of collaboratively edit, have multiple people editing the same document, and it has a way that you can check it out uh, which basically makes sure that no one else makes an edit uh, to the document. Two people don't make an edit at the same time. And uh, let's give a brief tutorial on how to do that now. So if you're in your Zimbra, go to your briefcase tab, of course. And then if there, there's a document in there that we want to uh, edit, uh, I'm sorry, let me cancel that. I wanted to show you, uh, there's a document in here called Strategy and Goals. Um, OIT summer 2013. That's a document that uh, I want multiple people to go in and make comments on in Microsoft Word, but I don't want two people to open up that document at the same time and make edits because whoever saves it last, will <laughs> that will be the version that gets saved. The person who saved it before them, their version will be overwritten. So we want to make sure that we are all uh, editing the right document. So that's what uh, a document management system does. So the way we do that in Zimbra is right click on the document you want to check out and choose the check out file. Now notice now we've got a, uh, well first of all it's going to give us a save dialog. You're going to actually save that document. I'm going to put it on my desktop for now and then I'm going to go in and edit that document here in just a minute. But notice there's a um, a lock icon now and it says that the file has been checked out. If I hover my mouse over it, it tells who is checked out to and when. And that doesn't stop someone from downloading that document or looking at it, but it doesn't let them upload it to check it back in until the other person is done editing it, if that makes sense. So, and notice there's multiple versions of that document now. So if someone else saves it, you're going to be able to see a third version, a fourth version, and so on. So let's uh, open up that document. Uh, say we've uh, got the strategy and goals document. We open it up in Microsoft Word, and, and uh, I go through and say I want to make a, ch uh, a comment on this particular sentence. So I'm going to highlight it and click the Review uh, tab on, on Microsoft Word, and maybe I'm going to add a, a comment there. So I'll, I'll uh, say something uh, about the sentence or, or paragraph or uh, I can make grammatical changes and things like that and, it, and Microsoft Word tracks the changes. So I'm uh, going to save that document um, and then it, uh, I'm actually going to cancel the save the saves because I don't want to save those changes right now. But um, if I had made changes to that document, now I would go in to the strategy and goals document in the briefcase and right click and check in the file. And so I would browse uh, to the um, section. It's in my. It's on my uh, desktop. And choose that file. Click open, and I could make some notes about that particular version. No, notice now it's saying this is version three of that document, and then I click the check in uh, box, and then someone else can check it out at that point, and it has my edits in it, and only. Uh, any edits that came before that. I'm going to cancel that for now because I want to show you you can also, if you check out a, a document by accident or don't want to save your changes, you can right click and discard the checkout and that just takes the lock icon off of it. So that's how you use the document management system in the briefcase in Zimbra.